Well, there's two scars that I remember, one that I can show you and one that I, I won't bother showing you. But uh, the one was uh, a rider riding for the ACBB in France. I crashed into a field. It was a ploughed field and I managed to find the only stone in the field itself. And the, the cut itself wasn't that bad, it was just right across the kneecap. But it was where it was stitched up. It was stitched up in the toilets at the finish line by a, a, a race doctor that, if memory serves me right, he, he kind of opened an old um, tin of pastels, you know, and he, he brought out a needle and thread from that. And it was a curved needle and he literally just stitched it up in the bathroom of the, of the toilets at the finish of the race. So that was one. Fortunately, he didn't get infected. Uh, that was one. But the, I think the funnier one, uh, and the one that is uh, a little bit more poignant for me, I, I trained as a chef. But as a, an amateur cyclist, uh, we rode the peace race in 1979. And um, I was at the dinner table in the evening. And the, the food wasn't particularly good in that era. It was Eastern Bloc, you know, behind the Iron Curtain at the time that was still up. And uh, we had this bread roll, and the bread roll was this, it was rock hard. And I got this knife, and I was trying to go through it. And this is a chef; I trained as a chef. And the knife went straight through this bread roll. I pressed really hard, went straight through it, and it sliced my finger here. So I had to have four stitches uh, again in a hotel room uh, by the race doctor. And I sold it on, and I got eliminated on the next day. Um, outside the time limit because my finger was like twice the size it should have been but they gave me um, they gave me dispensation and allowed me to start the next day because of that but um, the irony of it was the fact that I was a chef and managed to you know almost slice my own finger off in a, in a cycle race so it actually wasn't a crash related.